Let's talk about the Odyssey for a minute. More specifically, some of the Greek customs that give this story some additional historical context and meaning. I want to start talking about book number one that I'm going to share here in just a second, a particular scene that exemplifies what I mean um, when I say some of these Greek customs that give the book more meaning. The scene that I want to talk about is at the beginning of book one, Athena goes to visit Telemachus. Now remember, Athena is the goddess of, of wisdom and beauty and those things, Telemachus being the, the son of the, the noble and, and storm-tossed Odysseus trying to make it home. Telemachus is at his house. He is plagued by his house being overrun by suitors who are trying to marry his mom and are eating all of his food and drinking all of his wine very obnoxiously. Now, in the context of the scene, Athena, who has said that I think we should let Odysseus come home, he, uh, she, she goes to Telemachus. She disguises herself as an old man, supposedly a friend of his father's, and goes to their house to talk to Telemachus. She's gonna tell him, hey, you should get your, you know, your stuff together. You should go find your dad and bring him home. But let's look at the scene where she jumps in. We're gonna start up here. So Athena disguises herself as this guy, um, and she comes to the front gate of Odysseus' household where, where Telemachus lives here. She gets there, and the story reads, Godlike Telemachus, sitting troubled among the suitors, imagining how his noble father might arrive from somewhere and throw the suitors from the place, win honor and rule his own again, was the first to see her. Right? So he sees Athena disguised. He thinks it's somebody else, but he sees them. Right? Thinking of it, sitting among the suitors, he saw Athena and went straight to the doorway, ashamed that a stranger should wait so long at his gates. Approaching her, he clasped her right hand, took her spear of bronze, and spoke to her on winged words, saying, Welcome, stranger. Here you will find hospitality, and after you have eaten, you may tell us why you are here. Now, this is the first of, of what we'll get a, a couple different instances of this custom. But this is the idea that you, as, a, as an upstanding Greek citizen, um, have to act kindly to your neighbors, to people that you don't know. This was a custom called Xenia. This is um, a custom that extends beyond this story that was an actual Greek custom, something that they believed in and thought of um, as being right. Um, if you know anything about root words or things like that, you might have heard the word Xeno or like so, something like xenophobic, uh, but Xeno means stranger, right? So this word has to do with strangers. And what Xenia is, is the custom of hospitality. What that means is that if I am a home, a home owner in ancient Greece, um, and somebody showed up on my doorstep, I'll visually depict this for you guys as well. There's me. That's what I look like. Uh, here's my home. Uh, and some random person showed up and said, hey, uh, I, I need a place to stay. I am a traveler. I have been traveling over the seas, over the roads, whatever it is, for days on end. Um, you, you know, would, you, would you mind if I stayed here for a little while just to rest? The custom of Xenia, of hospitality, would dictate that I, as a, a nice person, would have to say, yes, sure, come on in, you can, I'll give you my finest beds, I'll give you food, I'll give you, you know, water, anything that you need to get yourself rested and, and recharged, right? Back up to 100%. Um, and that was the expectation. Now, there are a couple reasons why. Number one, if you are uh, a person who is fearful of the gods, what happens if a god comes to your house in disguise and you say, get out of here? Right? Can you imagine how bad that would be? We, we already heard in the Odyssey of characters who make the gods angry and suffer the consequences. So that's the first reason. You don't want to make the gods angry. Second of all, if they aren't a god, you're just being a nice person. The expectation is that you look out for your countrymen. You look out for people who come to you in need. And that's a really important thing. This is weird to us in our modern day. 
you know, if this is thousands of years ago in ancient Greece, then this is just commonplace. But if this is 2020, this is a bit more shocking. People showing up to your house saying, I need to stay here, right? You wouldn't let them in. That's just not how we work anymore, right? But nevertheless, this custom, Xenia, this is a word I want you to be familiar with that will come up multiple times. This custom is, is hugely important to them. Notice back at the text, it says that when Athena showed up, Telemachus was the first to see her, and he was ashamed. Like, she stands there for a matter of seconds, right? Not a very long time, but even then, he is ashamed that somebody waited so long for him to let them in. This is also why the suitors are there. The suitors are taking advantage of the custom of Xenia, the hospitality. Right? Somebody shows up, you're supposed to invite them in and be kindly towards them. The suitors know this and take advantage of it. So what they're doing is technically okay, right? It's technically permissible and it's the responsibility of the homeowner, in this case Telemachus, to be a good host. But it's also the responsibility of the traveler or the stranger person in this case, to be someone who is respectful, responsible, and doesn't abuse the privilege. This way, Xenia works for everyone. You help someone out, and in return, you can be helped out later if you need it. The suitors in this story are people who do not take this custom seriously and use it to their own advantage. And that's gonna be a really important thing to know here. But all of this gives context to the story. This is what the people are like. When we study the Odyssey, we're not just studying stories, we're studying culture, what it's like to live in a different time, far away from your own. Man, I really gotta work on my drawing.